Dr. Gokani hosts a TV program entitled Art and the Awareness of Happy Health, sharing his background as a medical doctor. While his language background is from India, the TV program is in English. English is definitely not his first language. Welcome, friends, to the another show of Art and Awareness of Happy Health. My name is Swami Anand Krishna, that is initiated name given by Osho. And uh, I have got a very wonderful person, being and doctor also. As my guest today, his name is Brian Morrison. I welcome you, Brian, Thank and you, I Krishna. request you to just introduce yourself the way you would. Viewers in Southern Oregon gain insights into health issues from Dr. Gokani and his guests. Some of that information could save a life, so his acquired English is performing a vital function. I asked Dr. Gokani about his language background and how he acquired enough English to produce and host such a program. First four years of primary education, we didn't have to learn English, but from the Fifth year, we start from A, B, C, D, you know, and A for apple, B for ball, like this, you know. And then we learn throughout the middle school, high school, but we don't talk in English. I see. You're probably learning the rules of the yeah, grammar. Yeah, grammar and everything. We write essays, but very difficult to speak in English for us because that was not a habit. So if you want me to tell you, then when I went to university, because our lectures were in English, so we are exposed to the professors and lecturers and to hear in English, understand in English, but still they didn't uh, bother or they didn't force us to speak in English. So we were speaking in our local language, you know. And what was your local language? My local language was Gujarati, from the state of Gujarat, where our Prime Minister at the moment, Mr. Modi, is coming from. So you must have had three languages you were dealing with, because it's Hindi, right? That's the national yeah, language. Yeah, four, four languages we had to. Uh, Hindi, Gujarati, English, and Sanskrit. Four languages we had to do it in the middle school and high school. That's four languages when most Americans can only speak one. He shares his dilemma when he had to speak English and the experience of not being able to speak his target language as well as the native speakers. Then medical school, we had to speak, answer, but still in conversation we were not. Then very first time, when I went to England for my post-graduation, I was in a dilemma to speak. I was knowing how to speak, but you know, your tongue is tied. Yeah. But first 15 days where, when I was in England, it was difficult to converse with the patient, the nurses, though you are a doctor, but you are ashamed that you can't speak the language. But after two weeks, I think freedom of my tongue happened and then I started still, you know, my English may not be as good as you guys or English people or European people, but now I can speak anything and everything and I think in English also. 